All right, I have my needle and thread here, and I want to line up the bottoms together. And then line it up like this. Okay. Basically make a sandwich. And then I'm going to take my thread here and I'm going to find the middle. Make sure it's all going to line up properly. And then I'm just going to run my needle through that. I'm going to try to stay about at an eighth, an inch from the from a, from the edge. All right. And I don't want to go all the way through. So I don't want to pull my thread all the way through. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is then I'm going to go around and I'm basically doing a width stitch all the way around. Like that. And then another one. And about an eighth to a quarter of an inch apart. And as I start sewing up the side, you see I'm taking the, the this part of the uh, the fringe part of the of the welt, and just laying it inside, making sure that when I sew, I'm not going to be sewing my fringe into to the bag itself. So, I need to see the edge, but I'm not ready to round the corner yet. But I'm gonna start to get there. I can start pulling the thread a little tighter. So I'm going to make sure that the fringe stays away from the edge. I only want to get the welt welt edge make sure you're going through all three layers all right okay so we got that sewn in give it a little tightness here kind of st stretch out the bag and work the, the stitches in there and then, I'm, ouch, <laughs> I got myself. Um, I'm gonna go and <clears throat> finish this off by going around a couple of times. And then I'm just gonna do this way I knot off. And go through a couple of times with the overhand stitch. And then usually go underneath that stitch. And then do it again. That's how I knot off. There we go. Then I can take my scissors and cut and we got one side the fringe is still free so that's good so now we're going to do is we're going to thread the needle uh, with this side of the string and then we're going to whip stitch on the other side up the other side and making sure that as I start to sew that now I have to make sure that the fringe definitely I can fold the fringe inside of the bag as I'm stitching to make sure that I don't end up sewing my fringe into the into the bag. So just fold it in. Make sure you don't sew this fringe in. And I just want the, to uh, sew the three edges of the front, back, and the welt together. I take this out. way now for this you could have I could have used a running stitch if I wanted to but um, whip stitch is just easy it's just so much easier the problem with the whip stitch though is that the fin when you we turn this um right uh, inside out it will it will um you could see the stitches that's what the welting is for it'll it helps to protect 
and uh, hydra stitching um, for more better you know use wear and tear on whatever you're making as far as leather is concerned so I'm just going to stitch this all the way up on this side making sure not to sew the fringe in all right I finished sewing up the other side here didn't want to make you sit through that and so I'm going to go ahead and just finish off my stitching with a knot and then I usually go under the all right, go in one more time and just knot it off like that put that aside okay so so we have our bag here sewn off both sides start manipulating and stretching it and so basically now it's time to turn it inside out so basically you can take the fringe and pull the fringe out and one thing to note we um, did this with the welt sides and the fringe in the middle again the, the, the fringe is optional so if you had just did that with the welt, you, you, you would have just done the same exact thing. You just wouldn't have had to worry about um, catching the, the fringe in your stitching. So that's all. It'd be one less thing to worry about. I'm going to turn it inside out. Like so. That's pretty much what we have. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So this is what we're this is what we're looking at. Okay, so that's the bag uh, inside out with our welt. And all we gotta do now is just trim and that'll help alleviate um, this puckering that you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna carefully trim the edge the edges off here. Make sure I'm not catching, catching the uh, sides of the bag, and thus my stitching. And I'm gonna go all the way, kind of straight down, as straight down as I can. Man, catch the other side. So I may make another pass to trim this a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> let me kind of pull this tight here. And then what I'm going to do here is give this, kind of follow the contour just a little bit. And then I'm going to cut straight down. And it's okay if the fringe kind of flays out a bit at the end, or you can cut it completely straight. It's up to you. So for the most, most part, this is what we're looking at here. And I'm gonna continue to kind of trim it a little bit up. But this is, this, this is the... Uh... Okay, so here's what we have. And I'm going to cut holes for um, the uh, tie. 
and um, I, we want eight holes. So we want um, two just outside the fringe, about a quarter of an inch on both sides, and then two in the middle. Okay, And I just marked them out with my pencil here. And I'm going to take my hole punch. I'm going to keep everything together. Make sure it's flat, and I'm going to punch my holes out. And I'm punching a quarter of an inch down from the top. side like that. Again, when you if you do this with the same tool, type of tool, make sure you don't go through your um your seam, your threading. Okay, so I'm basically going to take my pencil and make sure that the holes are clear. And then these are popped out. So we've, we've, got, we've got the holes punched in all the way around. All right. Okay, we have our holes punched in and we want eight of them. Four in the front, four in the back. And we're going to, this is going to be our back side. So um, we're going to start from the middle in from the back and we're going in through the back hole and we're just going to go in one out one in one out one like that in one out one Now that last stitch here, this is the front of our um, of our bag here. Now, this is where you would then attach or tie any sort of um, ornament if you chose to put an ornament on. Um, yeah, we didn't really talk about decorating. Um, before you would have sewn this together, um, you would have taken this and probably beaded it, um, you know, on the front or drawing something on it or however you chose to embellish the front if you choose to do so um, and you do that before you sew it together uh, if you want to hang something off of it at this point is where you're going to use your lanyard um, to kind of wrap it around or do your wrap and then you'd go back in let me see we'll grab this out Oops. yeah you know, you'd wrap it around and then go into the hole. Like so. Alright, and then continue around. So, at this juncture is where you'd attach any sort of ornamentation if you want it to hang like that. started by going in and we're going to end by going out so we basically have this configuration and we can adjust this so that the the ends of this are the even just like so